For your safety, remember to always read the instruction manual carefully, paying particular attention to warnings and precautions before installing or making changes to any pump. Always follow safety procedures including the use of proper clothing, eye, and face protection. This video will go over proper installation of your FDQ ultrasonic clamp-on sensor. First, start by installing the bracket to the pipe. For optimal performance, the FDQ sensor should be installed downstream from the chlorine dioxide injection point. This particular sensor works on 2 inch and an inch and a half pipe. As you can see, there are two arrows. Make sure you line up the arrows for what size pipe you'll be installing on. In this example, we will be installing the meter on inch and a half pipe. Line up the screws. Get all four screws started before tightening all the way. Tighten all four screws in equal amount and position the face plate where you're going to want it. Once you have a good snug fit, slide the plastic cover over and now we can install the head unit. Place the head unit in the center with two screws. You're going to want these tight. Now we can plug in the power. Get your cable coming from the power supply and attach it to the sensor. Programming the FDQ sensor. Now we will go over the programming for the FDQ sensor. The first time you plug it in, this is the screen you will see. The first thing you will do is to hold down mode and up at the same time. We want to change our units from liters to gallons. Hit mode to select. Here we want to see NPN flashing green. Hit mode to select. Channel two is off. This is our flow direction. The sensor is indicating flow coming from left to right. In this case, our flow is flowing from left to right, so this is correct. We hit mode to select. Here, we want to change from two inch pipe to an inch and a half pipe. Hit mode to end. Now we want to set up our pulse output. Hold down mode. Out one, we need to cycle to pulse. Use the up and down arrow until you reach pulse. Hit mode to select. Our speed is five. Hit mode, and then hit mode again to end the setup. Now the sensor has been programmed and is ready for operation. Now we will go into some more advanced programming. From your standard menu, hold down mode. Cycle through your settings until you get to end. To access the full menu, hit the down or up arrows to display full. To select full, hit mode. To cycle through this, we will hit mode. This screen is showing the cut rate. Right now, the cut rate is set at six. What this means is that until the flow reaches six gallons per minute, the sensor will not send any signals. If you are using a low flow application, you will need to lower this number to the desired setting. Here, we will leave it at three. We are going to hit mode. This gives you the option to change your LED color. At the test setting, we can simulate flow to test pump operation. Use the up and down arrows to turn test to on. Hit mode to select. Here you will use the up and down arrow. If you remember, we set our zero cut rate to three. So once we get to three, we'll see a green light illuminate, showing that the sensor is reading flow and is sending a signal. Here we are flowing at 25 gallons a minute. At the top left hand corner, you can see an orange light blinking out. That means that it is sending a signal. To exit out of simulation mode, simply hit the mode button to exit. Hold down mode and up to go back in the menu. To get back to your normal screen, we'll hit mode until we get out of our settings and then we'll hit end to go back to our main menu. This completes the advanced programming section.
Thank you for watching the instructional video on proper installation of your FDQ ultrasonic clamp-on sensor, and we hope this video was helpful. For more information, refer to the manual or contact your local authorized representative. Also, feel free to visit our website to explore more products, become a dealer, or contact us directly.